Good morning. So today we'll be tying some uh, some nymphs using the new uh, Perry jig um, um, hooks uh, by Amqua. Um, and you can see the big advantage that is to have to have um, the down eye and a strong um, a one X strong uh, hook when you're fishing um, heavy water and big fish. Um, another big advantage of this hook is the wide gap that you have. Uh, as you can see, even with a 2.5mm uh, uh, bead, you have a wide gap, a, a lot of room in here. This is a size 16 um, uh, hook, so uh, perfect for the, for the kind of flies they're going to tie. I'm going to start with a small uh, basic pheasant tail. Um, is a is a fly that a lot of people don't think about when you think about uh, jig hooks. Um, even in this small sizes, um, is one of my number one flies uh, when I when I fish. Um, a good combination between a perdigon and and a pheasant tail or a hair's hair is uh, is always a combination that I use to start my day. Um, I'm gonna start with some with some cocked leon feathers for our tail here. And I'm gonna show you how you can tie a lot of different flies with this with this jig hooks. Um, One of the things that I'm gonna do opposite with most part of the nymphs that we tie, I'm gonna tie the hot spot on the back. Um, being a, a fly that will have some volume with some uh, dubbing, I like to have the hot, the hot spot on the, on the back of the, of the fly. Um, give, Give him some visibility. And even during the tying, it's, it's, it's great to have a lot of room to work on this on this hook without being get caught on the on the point here. We're gonna try to keep a very thin profile on this on this fly. Another of the advantages of this hook is as you can see the the down eye and the size of the eye of the hook is big, so you can use you can oversize your uh, your bead um, because it never will never come out of that hook. We have those problems a lot with the, when you tie on uh, small flies, small hooks that uh, the bead will come out easily. So that's that's a big advantage for this hook. I think the yeah, Amco did a good job of coming out with this hook. The reason I tie this fly on, uh, on a jig hook is that these small little pheasant tails on shallow and slow water can be very effective. Um, and have the jig hook turning the, the hook upside down um, will help you not getting stuck on the bottom. Especially rivers that you have a lot of, uh, a lot of vegetation on, on, on the bottom or a lot of uh, debris, so that'll be good. Um, 
it's, it'll be a huge help. Pheasant tail on the new Umpqua party jig.